She had those accolades last season. This season, once again, currently fourth in the Big Ten in total kills and sixth in kills per set. We're underway from Huff Fall. Caroline Barnes got us started. Here's Chloe Chacoin, who was ranked the number one recruit in the nation coming to Purdue this season. It was blocked up front off the attack by Terry. Here she is again. Hit found the back corner. Illinois scores first. Right behind Hudson with four kills as opposed to Hudson's five. Up to Carrie Bohm from Mosier, and that'll be a kill. I think she's trying to find different shots to work for, but that block is really tough for the Boilermakers. One kill on nine total attempts as well as an error so far for Terry. She'll get another try here. Cuts the line by Horning for a second. Hudson sets up Shacoin, and Mosier tried to dump over, as did Myers. Terry finds a spot right in the middle of the Purdue side. There was clearly some miscommunication on defense. In tune with what's going on at the court. Purdue looking to win set one here. Nunji tried, it was picked up by Shacoin. Anderson on the bump, set up to Hudson. Collins tries it. Good dig by Shacoin. Here's Hudson, it goes long. Oh. They're saying it goes off the block, so that'll be a Boilermaker win for set one. Well, and not only that, but he mentioned just this was the most competitive group that he's had. And you think of all the success that Dave Chantel's had at Purdue, and that's a nice compliment to this team. Good work by the Illini to keep that alive. But Raven Colvin once again finds a gap right up the middle. Jessica Nunji to serve for a second time. Another 3-0 scoring run by the Illini after that service error by Mosier. Anderson tried it for Myers. This time it'll be Wollard blocked up front by the Illini. Free ball for Illinois. Mosier to Kari Bohm, picked up by Skimmerhorn, and it's going to be another free ball. Nunji, Mosier, Burbage. It caught the back row. Eight of the last nine points have been scored by the Illini. Nunji again. Anderson up to Myers, blocked by Terry, and boom. Jessica Nunji's going to serve for set two. Shacoin Anderson back to Shacoin, blocked up front by Bohm and Burbage. Shacoin again, blocked by Burbage. Joust at the net. It's going to be a free ball for Illinois. Moser up to Bohm, kept alive. Burbage tries it. Fantastic rally here. Anderson, Shacoin, blocked up front by the Illini. Oh, my goodness. From 10 and also a double double. She has 11 digs. Moser's going to set up Terry once again for the back row. Picked up by Hornung. Shacoin is rejected by Mosier. Dug up by Barnes on the serve receive. Here's Burbage off the setup by Mosier. And Kayla Burbage picks up her fifth kill. Illinois is looking to go up two to one in the match. Caroline Barnes to try and serve for it. Hudson receives it. Poulter up to Shacoin. She splits the gap between Barry and Barnes, Vanessa Pan will try to win set three for Illinois now. It is not properly dug up, and that's the fourth contact by Purdue, and Vanessa Pan will win it with an ace. Thank you, Laura, appreciate it. Hudson on the serve receive. She's blocked up front by Raina Terry. Hudson on the serve, picked up by Lily Berry. Moser up to Raina Terry, and there's another block by the Boilermakers. It's Restovsky and Raven Colvin. Boost of energy for the Boilermakers and Emily Restovsky. How about it? Yeah, she just came in. She's doing her job, making change. Here's Terry from the back row. My goodness. How do you receive that? 19 to 15. It is an Illini lead. They're looking to upset 16th ranked Purdue here at home. Poulter up to Hudson. Great spot there from Eva Hudson. Well done. Will Illinois extend their winning streak to five matches? Yes, they will! Kennedy Collins and Brooke Mosier are there on the block, and what better way to end it for Illinois? My goodness, they will end the match with 15 and a half blocks. 